<laughs> with it all the way till it crashed, making sure that it didn't harm anyone. And the thing I questioned on 9-11 was simply the fact, where were our planes? When all of this was going on and planes were being hijacked an hour apart, and there were four of them to cover about a six-hour space, at no time, to my knowledge, did we have any fighter planes up in the air. Why? Well, the default position is to send up fighters. Right. Why weren't they? In light of the fact that there was a cover-up that got us into the Vietnam War, and there was, in my opinion, a cover-up of John Kennedy's assassination, I would just say that I don't believe it's beyond reason to not at least consider that the government certainly would do things like that. Then in mid-March of 2006, actor Charlie Sheen went public on my syndicated radio show and simply called for a new independent investigation and questioned the official story. Sheen knew that the establishment lapdogs would attack his personal past, whether real or manufactured, instead of challenging him on the facts. So Charles Sheen preemptively challenged them to challenge him on the facts, something they steadfastly refused to do. Literally hundreds of vicious hit pieces were written in newspapers worldwide. Every old rumor was dredged up and thrown at Sheen, and a fresh raft of allegations was launched at him. The only national television program that was fair in its presentation was Showbiz Tonight with A.J. Hammer on CNN. On Showbiz Tonight, Charlie Sheen speaks out on a controversial theory that the government covered up what really happened on 9-11. Taking over four uh, commercial airliners and hitting 75% of their targets, that feels like a conspiracy theory. Tonight, we dig even deeper. The host of the radio show on which Sheen leveled his startling allegations joins us live right here on Showbiz Tonight. The radio host who interviewed Sheen is Alex Jones of the Genesis Communications Network. Alex joins me live from Austin, Texas to talk about Sheen riveting comments. Alex, as I mentioned, the response that we got from doing this story last night, absolutely shocking. So I want to know how it actually all came about. How did the interview with Charlie Sheen actually happen? Did you guys reach out to him? Did he call you? What was the deal? Well, just to make something clear, Mr. Sheen has amazing courage to do what he's done, and he contacted me. He's been watching my documentaries for years. He's one of the most informed people that I've talked to in Hollywood on this subject. Listen, for years, Hollywood's been on fire with people knowing the truth about 9-11, and I was the first to expose 9-11 on the day. In fact, two months before, I had intel that elements of the military-industrial complex were going to carry out the attack. I said they'll use bin Laden, the known CIA asset, as their patsy to take the blame for attacking the towers. So Mr. Sheen is only uh, exceptional in that he has courage in going public, courage that no one else in Hollywood had. I mean, here's a CNN poll from Anderson Cooper a year and a half ago where they said, is the government covering up 9-11? Could they be involved? 90% when the poll closed on CNN said this. So listen, I have my own syndicated show. I've done 4,000 radio interviews in the last four and a half years. Almost no one calls in and disagrees now. We have the majority view and we have the evidence. And bottom line, there are declassified U.S. government documents like Operation Northwoods that ABC News reported on back in 2000. Operation Northwoods. Google it. And in there, the U.S. government, an element of it, said we want to hijack jets by remote control, crash them, and blame it on the Soviet Union and Cuba. Now, that, that was decades ago. This is why we believe this. Right. Then you look at the official story, the firefighters, the police, hundreds of them saying there were bombs in the buildings. They were told to shut up. You look at Building 7, detonators are going off. You can see the explosions. And, and Alex and Alex, a lot of this is what Charlie Sheen was covering. I'm, I'm actually just curious, did, did he reach out to you guys? Is he the one who, who put the call into you? Sure, how he sure. wound up on your show? Sure, he called me a few weeks ago and said that, uh, said that uh, he loves this country. He has nothing to gain from this. I mean, in fact, it's dangerous for him to do. But he sure, said, I love sure. this and country and my kids so much that I'm going to do this, Alex. And I said, God bless you, because now it may spur other Hollywood people who've got major pull, who know the truth, to start going public. Look, it's really simple. Let's understand this, okay? 9-11 was an inside job. It was a self-inflicted wound. And, and, and what Charlie Sheen is doing is just amazing. And he can only be commended for it. And all he's calling for is a real investigation. I go further at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We lay out how it happened, what took place. And it's not just Charlie Sheen I've interviewed. CNN has interviewed some of these people, the only network that I've seen doing it. You guys have interviewed. There have been physics professors that have gone public. There have been the heads of mining colleges that have gone public. Uh, 
George Bush Sr.'s top CIA advisor who briefed him and briefed Ronald Reagan, one of the highest level guys at the CIA, says our government is clearly involved in carrying out terror to blame it on foreign enemies. Did you know that on CIA.gov, they admit that they carried out terror attacks in 1953 to blame it on Mohammed Mosaddegh in Iran right, as Al a pretext Al to overthrow Al Iran? Al I'm going to write all good stuff and all stuff that needs to be talked about. But the question is why? Why have so many of the major media outlets not talked about these alternative theories that exist behind 9-11. Why is that? Mark Twain said that in the beginning a patriot is a scarce man hated and feared and scorned but in time when his cause succeeds the timid join him because then it costs nothing to be a patriot. A lot of people don't have the courage that uh, you have AJ. A lot of people don't have the courage of Charlie Sheen. They don't have the courage of the German defense minister Andres von Bülow what do you who, think, who two years ago What do you think public. they're afraid of uh, that, that's going to happen to them? They're afraid of being beaten up by the hordes of neocon intimidators who try to go out there with their Gestapo Nazi tactics to, to, to try to bludgeon everybody with their blogs and radio shows to shut up. But they've lost power because people have learned that they're a bunch of liars. They lied about the WMDs. They've lied about everything. And now their credibility is totally blown. The, the new White House memo just came out where Bush was talking about staging the shoot down of American planes to get to blame it on Saddam. That's public. That's admitted. We have been getting an overwhelming response to our showbiz tonight's question of the day. Charlie Sheen speaks out. Do you agree with his assertion that there is a government cover-up of 9-11? Let's take a look at how the vote is going so far. 82% of you say yes. Only 18% of you say no. I had a sense that, um, that this thing was going to get hot. I, um, I didn't realize that, as you say, it was going to go supernova. That if they continue to attack me personally, it only gives credence to our side of the argument. People want the truth. They want the truth. And what's been offered to us uh, resembles nothing of the sort. He says is, don't believe me, check out the facts. Go look at the evidence. Don't believe the attack dogs. Just, it, it isn't about Charlie Sheen or Alex Jones or A.J. Hammer. Right. It's about NORAD standing down. It's about bombs in the buildings. It's about Pentagon documents saying they wanted to carry out these attacks and blame it on foreign enemies. This is all public. That's why all these physicists and politicians and people are, and congresswomen, ideas are bulletproof. And the New World Order better stop carrying out terror attacks. We've caught them over 200 times in the last 100 years, Western governments doing this. Hitler does it. The British do it. The Russians did it. Governments do this. They or And I'm not saying the whole government. Very small criminal black op, black world is what they're called, operators are carrying this out. That's the facts. Please go investigate it, ladies and gentlemen. You will discover the truth. Look at America. It's turning into a police state. Well, let's, putting let's... cameras in school bathrooms. Nothing can stop the truth from coming out on 9-11. And we're in danger of the new world order carrying out more terror attacks to keep this war for empire. Charlie Sheen then appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Sheen again threw down the gauntlet and challenged his detractors to look at the facts of Building 7 and the five frames from the Pentagon. You know him from movies like Platoon and Wall Street, and in addition to seeing him every week on Two and a Half Men, uh, opening tonight, you can see him in Scary Movie 4. Please welcome the indestructible Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Easter. Hey, back at you. Thank you. You had some interesting comments. You were on a radio show and you talked about 9-11 uh, and you have, um, is it a theory or you just, you just don't believe the government account of what happened uh, on 9-11? I just had questions. Yeah? I had a lot of questions and um, the forum I chose to, to voice those questions in is the Alex Jones radio show mm -hmm. and um, just because he's a guy that I've been a fan of and followed for a lot of years and um, you know, I got attacked. I mean, there were a lot of hit pieces. The reaction was yeah. People pretty get severe. very mad when very celebrities mad. have yeah, opinions. No, I understand. Yeah. I understand. I know he's not qualified. He doesn't. Uh, you know, he's just uh, who the hell is he to, to to have an opinion about something so so horrible? And you know, it's it was sad because they didn't really take a look at any of the stuff I was asking them to look at, any of the evidence or any of the stuff that generated those questions. You know, and they said, oh, he's uh, he's another tinfoil hat wearing Hollywood clown. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like the only. You know, I felt that the only um, real uh, uh, validation I needed was just being a, a, a tax-paying American that loves my country. 
Yeah, and you, I mean, it's something that you wonder about and you would like to know more about, sure. I, I assume. And do you, sure. you, do you study the tapes and you... I've done a lot of research and it's not just me, it's the people that have come before me, the, the, the experts and the, the, uh, the engineers and the physicists and the scientists and the scholars that, that, that 